So I messed up big time. I actually shot this video several weeks ago and completely forgot about it. So this is a little bit of an old, new kind of video. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. So this weekend, my sister was actually here at the house and she stepped up. She stepped up big time and she took care of my kids, which allowed me and the wife to kind of do some things that we wanted to do. Uh, we did some things together and we also did some things separately. You already know what it was that I did. I took some time to go through parts of the 100K collection and I actually found some pretty awesome books, some obscure books in some respects that I'm actually going to show you guys in this video. And I wanna encourage you to stay tuned because I'm actually going to give you an opportunity to pick up an awesome set of books from my friends over at Skybound. So stay tuned for that. So as I mentioned, I had some time to go through parts of the 100K collection, and I specifically targeted some of the indie bins that I've set aside. And I've gone through these bins before, but now that I have the collection here at the house, I can actually take more time to go through them versus being in the storage locker, trying to look through them or hauling them back to my house the way that I had to do it in California. So anyway, found some really awesome books that I wanna show you guys now. And in the first two, I've actually shown you books from this series before, but I don't think that I've shown you these specific books, mostly because the first one was literally just found. And it is actually a parody book. It is a parody of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We are, of course, talking about adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters. And this is book number one. This is the very first, I do believe, parody comic of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really, really clean copy of this book. I felt like this was a book that should have been in the collection, but again, literally just found it this weekend. So definitely pleased about that. And uh, here is book number two. And I have a feeling I may have shown this one in a previous video, or at least talked about the title in the previous video. So again, just here's here's number two. I found this with the number one. So I went it went ahead and just showed you both of them. Uh, this next one is a really cool book. It's a book that I've actually seen a lot. And I felt like I should have it in the collection. And then I actually found, I wanna say three copies of this book. And this is actually a cameo appearance of Grimjack. And you guys remember a few months ago, I was talking about Grimjack. Here is the cameo appearance in Warp, issue number one. And this is actually uh, from First Comics. Really cool cover right here. Uh, definitely pleased to have found this book in the collection. There's all these rumors about Grimjack possibly being turned into either a movie or a TV show. Who knows whether any of that's going to happen, but if it does, if it does happen, I am in a good position with a lot of the Grim Jack keys, including his uh, his run. He had a, a title back in the day uh, named after him that I actually do have in the collection. Uh, so this next one uh, is a really cool book. This is actually the first published work by Dale Keown. This is the first, I want to say interior and possibly cover, but I, I may have gotten the cover wrong. I do know the interiors by him for certain. This is Samurai issue number 13 right there. And uh, Dale Keown has a special place in my heart because he actually did uh, Incredible Hulk back in the day. I have a signed copy of, of a Hulk book that he did. He also is the creator behind Pit, which is a title that I absolutely love. So I was, I was ecstatic to have found this book right here, Samurai issue number 13 in the collection uh, featuring his first published work. And I think it's Ersel. I think it's the name of the uh, the publisher, Ersel. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Somebody will probably correct me if I'm uh, off by that. This next one, uh, this was actually inspired by Pretty Fly for a Filipino Guy who sent me a couple of messages about this book and about the character who has a first appearance in this book. Uh, this is Superman Adventure. Uh, I don't even know what issue this is. Uh, I'm not sure what issue this is. It doesn't actually say, or at least I'm not seeing it. 
Um, either way, this is the first appearance of Sir L. I think that's how you say her name. The Supergirl Sir L. Um, does that sound familiar? I don't know. I think that's it. But really cool book. I actually found two copies of this in the collection one bagged and boarded and one not so definitely pleased to have found this one really cool black cover and um even the one that wasn't bagged and boarded is actually in pretty good shape which is which is kind of nice so this next thing is not a book it's actually not a book i saw it in the collection and i was excited i was excited because i thought it was a set of uncut marvel cards and um it's not. It's actually a flyer. <laughs> but I was super excited because it's Wolverine. And I was like, oh my goodness, it is a set of uncut cards. No, it's not. It's actually just a, a flyer. But the cards are really cool, nevertheless. It's, it's a cool flyer. Caught my attention. Um, this next thing is just awesome. <clears throat> if you were a computer person back in the day, you might get a kick out of this. This is a floppy for America's online AOL. Uh, and it came out from wizard wizard must've distributed this in one of their magazines back in the day. Cause a lot of other uh, wizards were poly bags. And, uh, my guess is that this was inserted into one of those wizard comics. When was the last time you saw a floppy disc, much less an AOL floppy disc. Uh, the next two things I, I pulled out just because I thought that they were cool. Here is an ash can, of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I was a huge fan of this show back in the day, Odo and Cisco. Uh, so I had to pull that one out because I thought it was cool. This next one is, is a cool book. It's an ash can, the deadliest of the species, alien and predator. I thought it was a really cool one. I wish that it was the gray one. The gray foil is like super expensive, but uh, this is the red foil. I want to say that I've actually shown another copy of this in a previous video but i just found this one so i thought i would go ahead and share and again one of the things about the 100k collection is that you can sometimes look through two bins that almost look identical and they will have like some minor differences but they're like pretty duplicative of one another but uh just it's a massive collection of a lot of comics so i i find these things and i show them and, and hopefully folks enjoy it uh this next one actually comes from texas comics and i think texas comics may have gone on to uh, be acquired by comico i want to say but this is justice machine annual number one and this is a really cool cover i dig this cover it's yellow but it also has some nazi stuff on it so i'm a, i, I kind of like those books for whatever reason and i kind of set them aside whenever i can uh but this is the first appearance of the elementals and again uh, texas comics i don't think that they produce books for that long of a period but really cool book i have not yet read this but i i do have several copies of this in the collection just really cool so Wanted to make sure that I shared that one. Uh, Eclipse Monthly. Eclipse Monthly is the next one. This is issue number one. And this one is really cool because it is the first appearance of Static. And uh, Static is a character right here that was actually created by Steve Ditko. And I want to say, uh, I don't, I think this cover was actually done by Steve Ditko. And there is a story in here of Static that's also done by Steve Ditko. And uh, it actually looks pretty interesting. I'm actually thinking about reading this one because it looked interesting as I was flipping through it. It's like Static is a guy that wears this exterior suit of armor that does some stuff. So I'm actually thinking about reading this one. Uh, but Steve Ditko is super dope. And so I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that one right there. And I, I've shown you, I want to say it was a miniature version of the collected stories for uh, Static, but this is the first appearance and that's what makes this one really awesome to have found in the collection. Uh, next up, this is a little, a little, a little morbid maybe, but it is a Dave Stevens cover. So I had to show this one. Uh, this is Crossfire issue number 12. Again, covered by Dave Stevens. This is supposed to be Marilyn Monroe a deceased Marilyn Monroe. And it is a gorgeous depiction of her. Really, really cool book. Um, this was found in a, a box 
And as I was counting down from like one to 12, there was no 12 and there was like a 13 and like a 15. And I kept flipping and ended up finding in the back of the that bin issue number 12. And uh, very thankful that I found this one because this is this is a really, really cool comic. And then the very last book that I'm going to show you, there's actually two copies of it. Uh, this is New York City Outlaws. And this is an, an indie book. Uh, I think it might have been a little bit of a, an underground book as well. These, from what I understand, are pretty hard to find. But this is New York City Outlaws issue number four right here. And uh, this was inspired by the movie, the Warriors movie, I think it was called. I've never seen the movie, but it was inspired by that. It is a New York City vigilante gang. And uh, I want to say there's only five issues of this. Number five is pretty scarce, and I'm hopeful that I'm going to find some of the other issues in the collection. Um, I kind of dig this one. And again, I, I was able to find two copies of this and uh, was very pleased to have found those. Shout out to uh, to Key Collector app, man. The great resource, great resource for helping me to, to identify what makes these books significant, if you will. So I definitely dig that app. If you haven't downloaded that app, check it out because it, it's pretty solid. And uh, as I mentioned at the top of, uh, of this video, I want to give you guys an opportunity to actually win a pretty cool book of your own. Technically, two books, kind of, sort of. Um, I actually received these from my friends over at Skybound. They sent this over to me. This is the Walking Dead Deluxe, the second printing issue number seven right there. Really cool David Finch cover. And I also received from them the one in 25 variant right there. So you can actually win a set of these. I'm actually going to send out a set to one random person who comments on this video. So I definitely want to encourage you to comment, leave something substantive behind, but I will randomly select a winner from the comments that are left behind and you will get a copy of this. And unfortunately, we're gonna to have to just limit it to North America. North American winners only uh, because shipping is incredibly expensive. So hopefully folks understand that. But like I said, leave a comment behind. We'll mix it up down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I wanna encourage you to do that. And I want to encourage you to do it because it makes you eligible for the giveaways that I do like this one right now. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.